We are saying we want Michael out. We want Saddam out because he did nothing. So what we are basically saying is this. The youth had come together to, to, to speak in one voice for the release of this man. We truly believe in his innocence. We truly believe he did nothing. This is the person who had been saying that people must get employment. And when he spoke against unemployment in this country and poverty, is it, not, is it a secret or something? We all know he was not lying. Since when did the Namibian constitution say that people who speak the truth must be arrested? Why is it so wrong to violate a court order and it's a right for a court to violate a poor man's, a poor man's uh, constitutional right? So we are saying that we miss a country where fairness prevails. We miss a Namibia where there is justice. We miss a Namibia whereby our voices are heard without threat. This country was fought for. People died and everybody knows. So we are ready. We are ready for whatever comes. We feel like our patience has been tested. And these people must not play with us. Because when that time arrives, we will not be scared. And I'm telling you this. We will rise up and they must prepare their nails because we are coming with hammers so that we fix this country respectfully. Namibian Youth Acting Secretary Helaria Sem added that the youth are demoralized now that Amushelelo is in jail as opposed to when he is out and motivates them. Because when he's out, he used to encourage the youth. Not violently, but he's looking what is going on in the country. Like he was on unemployment. He represented many people in companies who are being paid less, who are being threatened by their bosses, who are being fired without no reason and there was no payment. He was speaking on behalf of those people.